welcome to Farming 263. Okay. Uh, can you please introduce yourself to our viewers? Okay. Um, my name is Daniel Manu, and I'm 24 years old. I live in Saint Centenary, and I'm a farmer by profession. I'm growing tobacco and maize. That is what I do. Okay. Um, when you say by profession, <laughs> Our viewers at home would like to know, uh, did you go to school f uh, for you to be able to do uh, this farming thing? Yeah, I did went to school. I was at the University of Zimbabwe. Okay. I did agri business management there. Oh, really? Yeah. So, you're an educated person. Why are you in the field playing with mud? <laughs> um, growing up, uh, this is the thing that I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing farming as a, as a business, at the same time it's a lifestyle I want. Okay, yeah. so you actually enjoy farming, you're, you're a farmer by passion? Yeah. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Uh, so Mr. Diboy, can you tell us, uh, sorry I'm calling you Diboy because <laughs> <laughs> the nickname is Nanzona, Chukuti Diboy, Diboy. So I'm like that. Uh, Saka, I'm saying Kuti, what else, what do you farm actually? Um, currently, I'm farming tobacco, mm -hmm. maize. Mm -hmm. I also have goats, but I still have a few of them. All right. And chickens. Okay, so today we are going to talk about tobacco and, uh, and maize, right? Yeah. All right, so firstly, um, how many hectares of maize do you have? Um, I have one hectare of maize. I uh have. -huh. And the variety that you have there? Uh, I planted a six seed maize variety. Okay, can you tell us, is it a long uh, season of variety or a short term season of variety? The, it's, a, it's a medium. Okay. Yeah. So medium, the yeah, packet, the packet. Yeah, the packet. All right, that's it's interesting. in between the long the and the short, the short right? and the long, mm. yeah. Okay, so on your one hectare, yeah. can you take us through the production process, like, from your time uchitanga ku kuto gazira land yako to the time you kuti tako na shibage chedu chaka ita sa shikaita nas. Ah okay, so uh, land preparation I did it last year on in, in June, uh -huh. end of June. That's when I did my land preparation. Uh, then I planted my maize on uh, 14 December. Okay. That's when I planted my maize. Um, then we did some of the things involved in the in the field like uh, planting and um, weed management and pest management. Okay, yeah. so tell us, uh, for a farmer to obtain a nice cob like the one that you have that you are showing us here, um, what does it take for one to 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 reach there? Now, what are the aspects of uh, good agronomic practices one should take care of? Okay, uh, so for one to achieve that, uh, we need good agronomic practices. Uh, that includes good weed management and pest management and timing of each and everything that is done in the field. Like timing of planting, timing of weed management and uh, fertilizer applications. Okay, uh, that's interesting. Yeah. So uh, can you tell us more? Uh, do you sell to um, the GMB, to local people, or do you use your uh, maize for other, or do you add any value to your crop? Yeah, uh, instead of selling my maize to, to the GMB, I want to add value to it by using it as feed to, to my animals. Okay. Yeah. So how does it help in terms of your business as uh, your livestock business? How does it help for you to produce your own your own feed? Uh, if I'm producing my own feed, I like when you are doing animal production, yeah. uh, the business expense comes from the from the feed. Mm -hmm. So if I'm producing my own feed, it means that uh, I'll be able to cut the the cost of the cost of feed. All right, all right, all right. okay. Uh, that's nice. So uh, I want to start my my maize uh, project, right? Yeah. Uh, do you do, as you said, you're an economist, right? Yeah. Do you do any budgets, uh, record keeping, or do you actually follow up with, okay, 
takajikara muswakati achibagi chedu chane muso cha 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 kura kushika apa is there any um records that helps you uh to to know what is zukumbo famba same business because uh, we have noted some farmers <coughs> they just plant uka mubunzo tshibagi chenyu cha kura zakadi anga singato ziano ngota cha sarone Chazongo, nature quit some check it here. Yeah, so I want to know, maybe as a business person, because we are no longer talking about agriculture, we are now talking of agribusiness. Yeah, yeah. So, can you tell us more about that? Yeah, so in terms of record keeping, I keep every record, uh, especially the cash flows. Mm -hmm. um, that is the most important thing because we are dealing with cash when we are doing this business. Uh -huh. So, every cent that comes into my pocket and that goes out. Uh, in the farming side, I have to put it down somewhere. You look like a serious man who is in, uh, deeply in, in business, right? But uh, one at home would like to know, a 24 year old a guy, Arkumbo, Arkusha has a quit. Anga Tango say this business of farming. Uh, how, how can you venture? You will work as Tango say, can you just give us a brief? Um, the, the biggest challenge is. How to start uh -huh. but once you figure out uh, once you figure out your way to start mm -hmm. uh, everything in the future will just come clear by itself okay. you, you, you get what I mean yeah I understand yeah like the starting point is the major challenge to everyone but once you start everything will flow your way okay yeah. uh, that's interesting so um, we have done talking about um, the the maize and we are actually seeing uh, a huge cob and I wish that <laughs> but uh, anyway uh, so we are going to take a short break and then we talk of the crop that is behind you I'm sure our Narkumba Warkungona that golden thing and they want to know what is it Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's me, Ashley, your host. Today, I'm behind the camera as well. I'm presenting, so uh, please bear with me. And now we are moving to the tobacco that you are seeing there, uh, the golden leaf. Mr. Deboy, can you tell us more? What is this? Uh, so this is tobacco. You have not forged, you know, put one on here. And the notion so for other medicinal uses like that one day. So I mean good in the gate to wrap on the get to him uh yet to food care can not yet to a food game to the muano gun out of sunga chat not to money okay and one one to consult to put a regular to knock uh that's nice so um we want to know how does it take or what does it take for one to eventually end up having that golden leaf because it starts somewhere. Yeah. Let's go back where it starts. Uh, so for the GIE, it starts from the seed bed. Uh -huh. uh, seed bed, you know, Godzilla, but it depends. You know, you can see the or irrigation. But as for me, I prepared my seed bed for the GIE on the 2nd of August last year. Okay. And uh, we planted this tobacco on the 12th of November. All right. Then from there, Tagastanga harvesting end of, uh, end of January. That's when we started harvesting and curing the, the tobacco. Uh, okay. So uh, is a tobacco project labor intensive or capital intensive one yeah. would like to know it's both okay yeah because it requires a lot of labor mm -hmm. and a lot of money you know when you talk about labor there's something that rings in my mind yeah. uh, there's an issue of child labor which is happening out there which has been all over the social media right mm -hmm. i, I want to know how do you work with your um, workers actually uh, do you have an age group that you say in any perform pang 
Ah, and you know, Shandan Nimun and Makori, and and I. And did you want to pick a uniform? Or Unomonos farms are say is an employer. I guess you, you employ people actually. Yeah. So I want to know how do you handle the issue of child labor? My farms in your like in, in, in your farm specifically. Okay, so as for for labor, I use experienced people, uh -huh. and usually these are people above the age of thirty. Okay. Yeah, those are the people I work with uh, to produce this next crop cool. over here. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Mumbu told you a few days ago, we inspire the young because when you when you do you know like um. When I see Munu Wezera Rangu or are close to my age, I cheat or something, uh, I just feel like I want to question this person. I want to know more about um, Zarkita so that I get inspired. Do you take my, my students? Are you that, to that uh, stage? I cannot am Satimaku, Sandau, Nima, young people, because at the end of the day, we need to catch them young in as much as we don't want them to work yes. um, harder, but we want to involve them in, uh, in these farming activities. Yeah, actually, my field is less than 100 meters away from that school where my, my tobacco and my maize is. Oh, really? Yeah. So usually some kids would come and see whilst you're doing our work over there. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So, Mr. Deboy, uh, let's talk about the marketing season of, of tobacco because I can see right now uh, we are in a grading shade, right? Yeah. Um, what is happening here? It's unfortunate in Anastasika, Musinava, but I can see that there was some activity. Uh, can you tell us what process takes place here? Okay, so this is where we store our tobacco after curing in the barn. Uh -huh. So wait for, as for me, I, I waited for all my tobacco to be cured. And mm -hmm. as you can see over there we have uh, the graded tobacco and over here we have ungraded tobacco. Mm -hmm. So whilst it's, it's here, uh, it's in the process of colouring. Uh -huh. yeah, like the colour it comes out with in the barn and mm -hmm. the colour it will take after storing it here for a few days is different. Okay, uh, you mentioned something uh, about the barn. Yeah. What happens in the barn? Uh, in the barn, that is where we dry the leaf. Okay. Yeah. So when we take uh, the tobacco from the field, mm -hmm. uh, it will be, let's say, pale, pale in color. Mm -hmm. Then we put it in the barn. Uh, then we start the curing process. Uh, it's a gradual process and it takes about seven to eight days to cure tobacco. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to increase our temperatures gradually and we have to be careful about the ventilation mm -hmm. so that we don't produce tobacco with sponge. Okay, yeah. uh, so what source of energy do you use? Uh, we use firewood and coal. Main, firewood and yeah, coal? Ma mainly firewood. All right, um, there's an issue of are farming versus the environment. Yes. And specifically tobacco is one of those farming activities which uses uh, trees. It's more of like there's deforestation which is happening uh, within our areas that are surrounded by farmers. So you as a farmer, what responsibilities are you taking in order to sustain the environment so that we don't uh, continue the deforestation. Are you doing any afforestation or uh, can you tell me about that? Yeah, so every, uh, like starting from this year, mm -hmm. since uh, this is the year that I've started doing tobacco, mm -hmm. I'll be planting 500 gram trees every, every year. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Farmers at home, please, uh, this is an issue which is affecting our environment. So us as Farming 263 and other farmers, we're encouraging you to participate actually in these tree planting days so that at the end of the day, we don't run short of um, our indigenous trees and any other trees that are around our areas so that we continue producing. So Mr. Deboy, we were talking about the market, right? Yeah. So after grading, what happens? Yeah. Okay, uh, I can say, they want to know, 
kana mishi grade amuko visa sakaita se and how many grades do we have in tobacco because kana tiri ku mombe unonzi kuti kune super commercial economy koko tobacco tinition uh basically before i answer that question mm -hmm. it's like we have a jar of marbles uh -huh. we have red green blue yellow yes when you are talking about grading uh we are we were talking about selecting marbles with the same color, same size, if uh, mm -hmm. they are different in size, and putting them uh, on, on one place. Okay. So that is what we do when we are grading tobacco. We put tobacco that have, that have same similarities on one place, and we work with that as, as a bell. Okay, uh, it's unfortunate to get it a sicker fridge. When you are taking it to, 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 to the floor, auction floors, right? Uh, I want to know because there's some confusion that happens uh, between Isusuma viewers. Kumbo. We know there is contract farming. Those people who have contract to have a good auctions, or is it only meant for? Are individual farmers can you explain and then move on to the equity which category are you okay uh, so if you are a contracted farmer mm -hmm. you have to sell all your tobacco to the contractor because the contractor and him and all the resources that you have used mm -hmm. but if you are funding yourself you can go and sell your tobacco to the auction all right yeah. so in my memory uh in any other demand and okay. now any contractor can defend with the Nigeria. All right, so as a self-financed farmer, right, yeah. I would like to know what challenges, especially, you know, like the touching part of this whole conversation, yeah. you're a young person. Yeah. And I understand because you recently graduated, right? Yeah. Uh, so I always, um, oh, I'm actually asking myself, Kuti, how are you managing? Uh, because Forge is not an easy thing to do. So tell us about the challenges that you faced. Uh, some of them you managed to, to solve them, and some of them you, uh, they are beyond your control. So can you just tell us, sum up about your, the challenges that you faced, so that at the end of the day, our stakeholders who are watching, you never know who, who, who this uh, show reaches. So we, we want to know the kind of uh, problems that you faced? Okay, so the, the major problem, like the umbrella problem, is mm -hmm. the finance issue. Yes. Yeah, so in the farming industry, it's very, very tough to operate uh, such a business without any other sources of income. Okay. Yeah. Uh, as I've told you, we planted the seedbed of this tobacco on the 2nd of August, and mm -hmm. today is um, 20 March. We haven't got any returns from it so far. Yeah. So it means, it, uh, it means that since we planted the seedbed up to now, I've been taking money out of my pocket to, to find to, so, so that this tobacco can be like this today. Oh. So basically, I, I can say when you're operating a farm, you should have um, enterprises that give you money in the short run, in mm. the medium, and in the, in the long run. Yeah. For example, in the short run, you can be doing broilers. Mm -hmm. In the medium, you can do other things like uh, goats, um, goats and piggers. Yeah. Then these crops that take uh, more than a year to, to be harvested, uh, those are the longer. Okay, uh, so in brief, we, we should actually not focus on one crop uh, yeah. as a farmer. Yeah. We need to bring in other uh, cash uh, making our uh, groups so that they help us to sustain our our production rate. Uh, so, Papa, I know it got to I want. I just want to know, Makarima Pakura say, and are you yield your mugu target? How many kgs are you targeting? Okay, uh, I'm targeting uh, about 1,300 kgs. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I planted 10,000 plants of tobacco. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So at home, wait a minute. Then you pop up for Monday's what you come in. Ah, Arita Marim comment section. Ah, so Mr. Dibwe, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate. You're a busy man, but you gave us uh, this opportunity 
to bring new clothes to the to the farmers because what happens is to to the viewers sorry what happens what we want is our viewers at home the final user of um, the products that you're producing we want them to know the people behind um, uh, behind the, 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 the goods that they are using. There's somebody who worked hard for it so that uh, they buy more. I should more business. So, um, lastly, in general, what's, um, what is your five year goals? Okay. Okay. Uh, in my five year plan, like mm -hmm. let's say after five years from now, yeah. Uh, I want to be a big commercial farmer and mm. I want to move from the, the old system of curing tobacco using those bands uh, because we are using a lot of firewood. So I want to invest in a tunnel system that uses only coal and uh, I think by then I should be able to produce at least 100 hectares of tobacco wow. and at least 200 hectares of maize after five years from now. Yeah. So guys, we are looking at a young man with a big dream.